this is cleft leaf heliotrope, or another common name for it, scorpion weed. And it's not because it helps if you get a scorpion sting. This actually has tiny hairs on it that sting just like a scorpion. Not something you want to be brushing against while you're on an, a day hike in the Sonoran Desert. But as you can see, scorpion weed is literally surrounding me right now. It's in front of me, and even this periwinkle or blue color of it is abundant in a bush form. So a lot of people are, are give a lot of fear about this scorpion weed, and in due cause, because it causes an awful reaction and a rash that can sting for days after you've encountered it. So as you're taking a walk or even your animals might bring it back into the house or with them on a adventure that you might go upon, the scorpion weed is very uh, distinguishable though. The great thing about it and why it's called scorpion weed is it has the shape like a scorpion tail. And so whenever you encounter a, a group of flowers that have this shape, it is a heliotrope or a phalius. And these uh, heliotropes specifically here in the southwestern region are the scorpion weeds. So luckily for us, while we are surrounded by these cleft leaf uh, heliotropes or scorpion weed, there's a remedy because whenever there is something that causes a rash, an irritation, or stinging sensation, there is always something very close by that you would be able to make out of another plant to remedy that. And for us, that is woolly plantain. So yes, stay away from the scorpion weed if you can, but if you can't and you happen to go through it and you get a rash from it, we are going to make a poultice right here in nature, right as if we were encountering it. We're gonna make a woolly plantain poultice. Let's go find some woolly plantain. So here I am, only about five feet away from that beautiful big blue heliotrope bush. It's literally right behind the camera and on this hillside that was behind it is all of this woolly plantain. So what's great about the woolly plantain is that this type of plantain is not necessarily found across the United States, but plantain is. There is wide-leafed, narrow-leafed, woolly, so many varieties of plantain and every place possibly in the world, but definitely in the United States, everywhere that we have been in the United States, we have found plantain. And plantain is a huge benefit, especially if you're an outdoor enthusiast. Bug bites, bee stings, rashes, scrapes, just come with the territory of hiking and being out and exploring the world. So just as if you were on a day hike and ran into some of this scorpion weed, you would take the leaves of the woolly plantain and you put them in your mouth. This is for if you are out in nature and need a poultice right away. Take it, spit it out, and apply it directly to where the rash is. And if you have a bandana or you have some sort of cotton or gauze with you in your day pack, you can simply press it over and you want to replace this plantain poultice every 20 minutes. Whether you're in your home applying a poultice with water or apple cider vinegar or another solvent, um, you want to replace and make sure this is staying moist and replace it every 20 minutes. This rash should go away much quicker. The stinging offense effects go away almost immediately with plantain, and it's a really great plant for drawing out. So if you have splinters, if you get bee stings and the stinger is still embedded in your skin, if you get any sort of mosquito bites or other bug bites, the plantain will pull out 
the properties that are stuck in your skin. And then you simply take the poultice off and renew or reapply if needed. And if not, if you feel like the rash is better, go on your merry way. And plantain is an amazing plant to have just a knowledge of while especially if you are adventurous or going out in the wilderness often. I hope you enjoyed learning about a toxic or kind of irritating plant that can really put a damper on your hiking or adventurous times out in the Sonora Desert and a common remedy that you can do to keep on your way and explore your neck of the woods even more. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Stephanie Matthews with Nature Craft Fox. Please like, subscribe, and follow, and we will see you soon.